So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. This here is now a fungus under the microscope and those long structures are called the so-called the hyphae of uh, the fungus. And uh, those hyphae look a little bit different from that what I expected to find. As a matter of fact, I was not able to see the individual cells. And in that sense, uh, those aseptate fungi, as it's called, seem to defy the cell theory a little bit. And this is what the video is about. I would like to show you some special cases of the cell theory. and. Uh, those fungi are a very good example of this. Now, which fungus am I talking about? It's called the black wood ear fungus, which is commonly found in Chinese food. Um, and uh, yeah, I took uh, them out uh, of the food and I wanted to observe them under the microscope. And uh, indeed, um, it was a little bit difficult to prepare them because uh, those fungi are very gelatinous and, uh, and yeah, in, in texture, so difficult to cut. But I tried to make a so-called uh, a squeezing uh, specimen. So by squeezing it, I tried to compress a small amount of the fungus between the cover glass uh, and the microscope slides to make sure that it's sufficiently thin. And this actually did work. Um, and then I was able to find those aseptate hyphae. Um, but I also tried to, to stain uh, the fungus. And for this reason, I put a small piece uh, into a staining dish and I added some methylene blue solution. And this is a very general purpose stain, which is commonly found in, in microscopy. Or you can also add the stain directly on the slide if you want to. Yeah, what did I see? Well, first I'm going to show you the unstained specimen and uh, quite a little bit like I expected I was able to see those uh, string like structures those filaments in the hyphae um, and uh, this is actually nothing unusual um, however when I zoomed in at a higher magnification I said well they kind of look different than the other fungi that I've observed so far those round oval structures of course um, are the spores um, also nothing unusual here but I was not able to see the individual cells of the hyphae um, rather it was like a, a continuum they formed as a continuum, a very homogeneous uh, structure, um, but individual cells I was not able to find. Yeah, even at a yet higher magnification, you can see that it looks almost like hair or textile fibers, um, but there were no individual subdivisions visible here. Yeah, and uh, after a little bit of research, um, you are able, I was able to find um, out that, of course, there are different types of fungi. Those that have a, have septa between the individual cells, uh, these are the cross divisions here, and uh, the red dots, these are the nuclei. Um, and uh, you can see that over here in the aseptic fungi, you have hundreds um, of, of, of nuclei um, yeah, in one hyphae. And that's different from uh, those septate fungi uh, where um, each uh, cell has its uh, own nucleus here. Yeah. Now, how would this actually look like in real life? And I did find an example here also of a septate fungus. It's a, a mold um, that I observed some time ago. And here is a, here's a picture of it. Um, and uh, you can see that yeah, it looks uh, yeah, this round structure in the center. These are spores, uh, so we just ignore that. But if you look carefully here um, on the top here, you see those cross divisions, okay? And those cross divisions are the individual, it's a septum, okay? Um, and uh, for this reason, because of these cross divisions, you can have, uh, you have individual cells um, and each cell has um, its own separate nucleus. Yeah? So that is basically, and sometimes you can even see those uh, um, cell organelles inside here. Yeah? Um, but the aseptite uh, fungi, like uh, this uh, black wood ear mushroom, um, yeah, looks, uh, looks uh, quite a bit different. And uh, why is is of interest. It's of interest because um, the cell theory states that all living things are made of cells, okay, and, and also that the cell is the basic unit of life. So we expect um, all living things to be composed of individual cells. But some of those um, aseptate hyphae can be uh, quite long, and I researched a little bit and found out that in some fungi they can even be uh, up to several centimeters long. Now it's a question of definition. Is this actually one hyphae? Is this one cell? Or is this multiple cells fused together? And, yeah, how do we actually define that? Yeah? Here you see that uh, the the methylene blue starts to stain the hyphae from the bottom upwards um, yeah, and you can also see that the, the stain travels along inside the cytoplasm um, of the hyphae um, because uh, of the lack of cross divisions. This is the reason why substances can be transported quite quickly um, inside the hyphae. And here we can also see that uh, there where the methylene blue contacted the cells this is where it started to stain uh, quite, uh, quite well. But I think uh, you do not need to stain it. You can also see it uh, quite well uh, without uh, 
without a stain. Aseptide fungi, just like uh, some other examples, like for example, muscle fibers, um, which are also fairly long, um, they too have uh, multiple nuclei per cell. Uh, so also the muscle fibers um, in our body, the skeletal muscles also is multinucleated. And uh, in that sense, it's also an example of a, of a case where the cell theory, um, I wouldn't say an exception, some textbooks call it an exception to the cell theory. I don't like that word so much, but rather a special case of the cell theory. Yeah, because um, those structures, even though we are not able to see the individual cells, they do all of the functions of life in any case. So they have metabolism. Of course, they have DNA. It's just that the cellular organization is not quite as visible um, as with other organisms. Yeah, so you see that uh, a simple observation of uh, a little bit of food can quite reveal quite a bit already about uh, um, about our na uh, nature and our environment. And here, I, I just love this. I mean, it looks almost like thread or like textile fibers, but these are actually, yeah, uh, it's the fungus, uh, really. Yeah, um, the, the hyphae of, um, of, of the fungus. Quite, uh, quite nice to see. Yeah. I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel. I hope that you like these type of videos. Um, I wish you all the best. I uh, hope uh, to have motivated you also to pick up your microscope to go a little bit of exploring nature. All the best. Uh, happy microbe hunting as always. And uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.